بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول كريم Tribal Politics The Prosperity Gospel There are 65 mega churches in America with more than 10,000 weekly attendees and almost half of these preach the prosperity gospel. The average prosperity church has 8,500 members. The celebrity pastor Joel Austin has a congregation of 35,000 at the Lakewood Church in Houston and draws 7 million views weekly to his televised sermons. Not far behind the African-American televangelist Free Flow Dollar preaches to 30,000 at World Changes Church he founded in Georgia. While most elites have never heard of the prosperity gospel, Donald Trump used it to his advantage on the 2016 campaign trial. Prosperity gospel televangelist Mark Burns praised Trump and introduced him with these rousing words, a strange twist on Barack Obama's. There is no black person, there is no white person, there is no yellow person, there is no red person, there is only green people. Green is money, green are jobs. The prosperity gospel, which is a Christian but cu cuts across de uh, denominations, preaches that being rich is divine. Given that Jesus said according to Gospel of Matthew, you cannot serve both God and money, and it is easier for a camel to go through an eye of needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. The theological underpinning of prosperity gospel are a little murky, but the prosperity preachers have been quite creative. According to some, despite appearances, Jesus himself was rich. As evidence, they point to circumstances of his birth. As soon as Jesus arrived, noted dollar who owns two royal rices and a private jet, the anointing to prosper acted like a magnet, drawing wise men with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Those were not cheap. Those were not cheap gifts. Prosperity attached itself to baby Jesus immediately. And that same gift to prosper has been given to us as heirs of Christ. Similarly, on the popular Believer's Voice of Victory television show, Prosperity author John observed that Jesus had a nice house big enough, for, big enough to have company stay the night with him and wore designer clothes. You didn't get the stuff he wore off the rack. This was custom stuff. Other prosperity moment leaders focus on the Old Testament according to uh, Deuteronomy, explained the influential prosperity pastor uh, Kenneth uh, Hagen. Poverty was punishment God brought on people if they disobeyed him. After all, in the Garden of Eden, God surrounded Adam and Eve with every material blessing they could possibly need. After the fall, it was Satan who inflicted misery on mankind. Jesus' death and resurrection redeemed humanity not, not just from sin but from disease and poverty as well. As the African-American pastor Leroy Thompson explained, He took your place in poverty so you could take his place in prosperity. One of the most distinctive features of prosperity services is openly praying for money. In her book, Blessed Kate Bowler describes a Sunday service at Victorious Faith Center, an African-American church in North Carolina. It was normally the pastor who riveted the crowd with his fiercey sermons but on this occasion his wife rose unexpectedly from her seat in the front row and faced the congregation faith requires action she declared with surprising volume 
her small figure seemed to grow as the room got more excited money she shouted the congregation calling out with her cometh on to me she paused in anticipation now with that the first lady began to dance some eighty believer young and old threw off their inhibitions and joined her the murmur rose to a din as people began to call out their needs tears streamed down as people remember what they desired or the losses that they hoped to replace money cometh on to me now voices called again with its blatant emphasis on getting rich the prosperity gospel has many detractors few of its followers attend elite universities in northeast where one is much more likely to find children of millionaires claiming to be deeply anti-materialistic but the prosperity gospel hold enormous appeal for have nots and have lesses and it is especially popular with disadvantaged minorities for the struggling the prosperity gospel offers hope direction and a community of similarly suited peers unlike the unrepresentative anti inequality protest groups at the same time it offers the less of a more dignified self image as bowler put it the teachings of prosperity gospel lifts believers chin and squares their shoulders austin preaches that his congregants are not victim but victors dollar teaches that even the poor control their own destinies rather than thinking of themselves as societies oppressed or as part of 99% or e when simply as have not prosperity adherents see themselves as the favored the optimistic the blessed